our little world. An independent and sensitive ecosystem containing an innumerable number of plant species, 5,000 different types of insects, and five mammals. Two of these mammals, the Hansons. Their little world, their allotment. Mrs. Hanson loves her garden. She pulls out weeds, cleans the garden gnomes, sows radish, and flicks through brochures. Mr. Hanson clips the hedges, spreads slug pellets, tinkers with the shed, and loves to barbecue chicken, especially with his electric-powered chicken grill. Inspired by the rotating chicken, he starts to philosophize. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? This chicken is from the supermarket eight kilometers away. Via the wholesale market, from the slaughterhouse, there they're decapitated, plucked, packed, and deep frozen. They're bred in hatcheries, which are supplied with chicks, which hatch out of fertilized eggs. After this journey halfway around the world, one thing is certain, the egg came first. Mrs. Hansen is having similar thoughts. Her water is bottled in France and has to cover a similar distance. All this transportation uses up a lot of energy. There are various forms of energy which can be converted one into the other. For example, chemical into thermal energy or electrical into kinetic energy. The grill converts the entire electric energy into heat. But where does this energy come from? To begin with, quite simply, out of a socket. But before that, it travels with little loss by wire and transformer across high voltage lines all the way from a coal plant. Only one third of the energy from burning coal is converted into electric power, but it generates a lot of waste heat and exhaust gases. Coal mining also consumed lots of energy. What's left is called the degree of effectiveness. For our electric powered grill, this amounts to just 20%. The effectiveness of steam engines at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution was even worse. The Industrial Revolution gave us factories where cheap workers manufactured mass-produced articles at a bargain price. Mass production and transportation require a lot of energy, destroy our environment, and make today's prosperity possible. Take, for example, special offer Argentinian beef. It travels 12,000 kilometers and is still cheaper than meat from local farmers. In Argentina, meat production is cheaper because the workers are exploited and forced by multinational companies to destroy their own environment in order to raise cattle for our electric-powered grills. Grills, just like almost every other mass-produced article, are made in low-wage countries where people also wish to have a higher standard of living. The environment suffers, just as it did during the Industrial Revolution in the West. Greenhouse gases speed up global warming, which worsens the situation in countries which suffer from a hot climate. Migration is one possible consequence. The Hansons enjoy the warm weather and entertain more and more. Unfortunately, the polar caps are melting and parts of the world are being flooded. In addition, fossil fuels are running low and are being fiercely fought over. This is especially worrying as a shift in the course of the Gulf Stream is set to cause a new ice age. But this won't happen for a long time, so let's just lean back and enjoy that chicken. Bon appétit!